Hey guys, let's take a look at long division using rather large numbers here. So let's take a look at 6,240 divided by 346. Um, when you see this, just remember the first number goes inside your division box. That is called your dividend. And the second number that goes outside your box, that is called your divisor. So we'll go ahead and place 6,240 inside uh, the division box. We'll put 346 outside. And then we'll just kind of bring this all up so we've got just a little bit more space to work with. Now, I, I recommend that if you're struggling with this, you kind of cover up the numbers in the division box and you just look at the numbers one at a time. Can 346 go into 6? No. And if you're watching this video, you're probably struggling. So how about you just put a big X right above this? Sometimes teachers have you put a zero there. That'll just keep you from writing a number. Now, pull your paper a little bit more to the right, show the next number. Ignore this little comma right here and ask yourself, can 346 go into 62? And the answer is no. So put another X, pull your paper back, and now we ask ourselves, can 346 go into 624? Yeah, I, I know it can go in once, but can it go in twice? So off to the side of your paper, you write 346 times 2. I got 692. 692 is bigger than 624, so I, I know this can't go in twice. So how many times can it go in without going over? Once. So 1 times, and this is what you do here, 346 times 1 is the 346. And now we subtract it. You don't have to borrow, just like you always have. Borrow again. And finally, we find out that we have 278 is, is left over there. We're not done yet. I just want to point this out. This number, whatever you have left over, it better be less than this outside number. It has to be less than that. If it's not less than that, then you should have gone in another time at least. You know, you should have put a bigger number into it. Um, and the other thing is maybe you had a multiplication error, maybe you had a subtraction error, but any time that this number, what's left over, is bigger than the outside, then you have a big problem. So do that check right then. Now, pull your paper a little bit off to the side, and then if you see another number, drop that down, just one. And we don't do this check now. We, we don't care that 2,780 is bigger than 346. No, we, we care about it as far as like what's left over before we drop down that next number. Now, can 346 go into 2780? Sure can. How many times? I don't know, nine times? And you see there it's 3,114, so nope, not nine. Let's go down one. Let's go down to eight. And we get 2,768. Yeah, that, that works. So let's put an eight right over this zero. 346 times eight is 2,768. And we subtract it. Again, we're going to have to borrow. Is this number less than 346 yes now move your paper off to the side one more time do we have anything else to bring down no if you have a zero right here and there's nothing else to bring down then this would be your answer it'd be 18 but since we have this remainder here and nothing else to bring down we'll call it a remainder 12 18 remainder 12 or you could make it into a mixed number 18 and then this 12 would be the top of your fraction and your outside number over here would be 346 they're both even numbers. You'd have to go and simplify it. Um, we're not going to worry about that right now, though. 